devices. If your phone is full, your desktop is cluttered, your inbox is stuffed, we have some help for you this morning. We have Jason Chin, the Dallas Tidy Up. Good morning to you. Hey, Jason. Good morning. Good morning. I have to tell you, sometimes people have mailboxes that are full or things are running slow. Where do you even start? Oh. That's a really good storage. Once you do that, that audit, it gives you an idea. You look at your mail, you look at your text, you look at your photos. Really? Those are the places where you store photos. And right. Why do I even? I'm like a hoarder. Stuff. I, I am too. Digital we're, we're digital hoarders. Yeah. Digital hoarder. I'm also a digital hoarder on the computer too. So you know, you're looking for the files. You never really want to delete anything. How do you clean up your desktop? Totally. So taxes, uh, okay. a personal project. That's an easy way to order. Oh, like if there was good. a business you could, I would pay somebody. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I'm sure there is. Yeah. Can you just help me do that? Yeah. Let's talk about emails. I'm guilty. I have what a thousand and one, two thousand and another. I guess <laughs> I'm the worst offender. Yeah. The same. Box you put size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The, okay. It's a little bit different on Outlook. On Gmail specifically, that's how it works. But okay. we have some instructions on wire cutter. All right, sounds good. Okay. Okay. So we talk about our phones. Uh, you talk about streamlining our texts. Yeah. I think we all know that you can use uh, text shortcuts on your phone. If you type in, say, LMK, it can do a shortcut oh. that turns into lit. But yeah, okay. you can do that for addresses, email. It's very, very simple. That's great. Oh, that's um, right. Okay, and when it, speaking of the phone, when it comes to apps, yes. what's the difference between just removing them from you know the interface or removing them completely? Totally. So when you get rid of it completely, it gets so that if you're on your home oh, screen, okay. you won't be able to see it. So I can show you how to do that now. You bring it back up rather easily. Okay. So okay. go all the way to the right to the app. Oh, Jason, of, thank you. We've got so many apps on our phones that we haven't used in a so year. Oh, so they get rid of them. take up space. Yeah. Thanks, Jason. That's great. Oh, thank you so much. You. All right, coming up uh, ahead, it is Wellness Wednesday. Whether you're overscheduled or at FOMO, we are going to tell you how to manage your mental health in the summer. Then later in our style files. Easy. Hectic schedules, routine oh, changes. Pardon? Really, really bad. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> maybe we're all just staying up uh, too late. This all adds up. So in this morning's Wellness Wednesday, steps to manage our mental health in the summer. With us now, board Good, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so first of all, we, you know, it's summertime. Our mental and physical health of vitamin D. Yeah, so first of all, sunscreen, sunscreen. We want the good effects of the sun, mm -hmm. not the bad effects. Right. But we need vitamin D for our sleep. Yeah. But it's also a powerful anti inflammatory. So I didn't it helps, know that. Yeah, combat the effects of stress in our body. Hmm. And face, neck, arms, hands are fine. But whatever. What? <laughs> I have a question. If, let's say you have a really high sunscreen. I actually yes. know it sounds like a crazy question, but there are people who say, no, I want it to be. You know, only go out for oh, a little absorb bit. It. Yeah, you, know, you can because when you're when it comes to FOMO, you know mm. that fear of missing out. You're looking at social media. You're hearing your friends are going to all these parties. How do you get your mind right and feel like you're not missing out on things? It's very real in the summer. But what I like to say, mm. and how do we make that happen in our life? Yeah. Maybe Italy's not in the cards for this summer, mm -hmm. but we can go out and have an Italian dinner with our friends, enjoy a bottle sure. live right now. <laughs> in the season. So nothing. That's a good green. point. It's important to ground point. ourselves in gratitude. And what about on the opposite end of the spectrum, where you feel like to say yes to this event and that mm -hmm. event and you almost feel like you haven't had any time for yourself. That's right and you know the problem is we get overstimulated and exhausted for the things we really want to bring our energy and be present we don't have it so it's okay to say no. Actually, yes. Mm -hmm. I said this last month if it's not and what we've seen from the research it helps us say maybe to people that yeah. you yeah. Know. Yeah. don't, don't give no, them, don't give them yes. false hope not just right. tell them no. And it hangs not over your head. Yeah. Yes. That's a yeah. good point. Neuro, thanks so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right coming up we are going to help you look cool for the summer. It's time now for our series Cool for the Summer and this morning we're all about looking cool. So we are going to show you how to pull off some bold summer prints and here to help is fashion journalist and host. Hey, thank you we for always, having me back. We love your looks when you're here. Thank you. And today we're talking about patterns and prints but I feel like sometimes you're trying to do too much. So <laughs> if you want to throw in a pattern, what's an easy rule of thumb? So my look. Okay. okay. So okay. pick that one look and build the outfit around it. I like to go for neutrals when it comes to styling prints. Okay. Maybe mix it with a neutral top, neutral bottom, and let that printed look do all the talking. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys some. We always love this time when we can bring you another edition of Q&A Today. It's been a while. Uh, that's yeah. right. We <laughs> answer your questions and if we anything Within reason. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so let's get to it. Okay. We, we've got Kathy and Bruce from Toronto. Let's find out what their question is. Ooh. Good one. You? I think mine's is my mom's potato salad. Mm -hmm. It's very basic. Yeah. You know, it's scallions, celery, potatoes, mayonnaise. I mean, and eggs. Yeah. I actually like baked beans. Yes. Oh, you know, a lot yeah. of people don't yeah. like Three, Yeah, uh, Bush's baked beans. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Every one that's of them. It. Yeah. All right. All okay. Right. Cool. Our next question is uh, Shava and Mona from Austin. They have a question about our morning routines. Oh. 
Who Ladies? wants to start? For me, it just depends on. I don't linger. Yeah. How about you? People ask me all the time this question, and I'm like, well, if I'm in for Al, it's 4.15. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If I'm just doing my shift, don't tell anyone, but it's like 6.15. Yeah. Just like yeah. actually sleeping in. But I, I'm the same way. It's 15 minutes. I can get up, brush my teeth, wash my face, make my out. coffee. I'm out of the house. Yeah, see, I'm 4.15, but I left stuff out the night before, so I already know what I'm going to be wearing. Wow. And then I go downstairs, have my conversation with Dustin. What is that from A to Z? Like, what would you say? I, I, let's say like I said, 4 I just kind of like... Some time leave, in the morning. <laughs> also, like, I made Nick's breakfast this morning, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like yeah. that. So that's okay. Good. Okay. Yeah. okay, next question. We have mm -hmm. Addie from Ohio. Oh. We know yours. Yeah, I, I mean, working at the ice cream shop that I worked at was just, uh, I loved, I just loved everything about it. I love ice cream, I loved working there, but when Sex in the City shot a scene at our ice cream shop, it was supposed to be like my nose. Yeah, I go like this, my one moment Did on they TV. show it? Yeah. And then she scooped some more ice cream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was soft serve, I didn't have to touch anything. That's funny. You touched uh, the cone, <laughs> no, it exactly. had a little wrapper. It yes. all worked out, look at you now, you turned out so great. Um, my, uh, my summer jobs I worked at, I always interned at a TV station and then I would work to get money because the TV station's never paid. Sure. I work at Rainbow in D.C. That is an it experience. Is a clothing store? It's a clothing store. You know, it's got a wide variety of options. It was okay. an adventure. Okay. What about you? I worked uh, for all... It, it, was no, it was no accident that I was about 240 pounds <laughs> in high school. So there, there was that. It, but were you happy? Yeah, I was happy. I loved it. Okay. Yeah. I loved it. it was awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay, next group from California. Okay. That's because uh, it, because it depends on the genre. You can't, yeah. But, but what would you say is? I would say a movie I rewatched so many times. The VHS box broke. Mm -hmm. Was Apollo 13. Oh. Okay. And we just introduced it to the kids this weekend. They were total in total awe. And when I told them it was real, they were shocked. That's amazing. Can I have a tie? And, uh, I would throw that. You and Brian are the same when it yeah, comes to movies. Yeah, it's like you're yeah. like the same person. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. You work with One him more. And you married him. Same person. <laughs> Yes, they look alike, too. Yeah, um, very much so. <laughs> All right, Maria and Sandy with a difficult choice for us to make. Mm. For me, pizza. Pizza. Well, to, like, here in New York? I mean, just If it's life. here in New York, it's pizza. Yeah. But Although it, anywhere, I guess, is yeah. pizza. Yeah, and especially in Italy, you get a great Neapolitan pizza. And I love that they don't cut it, so it's just like a knife and fork, and right. you just go to yeah, town. These are great yeah. questions. Do we have one more? Okay. Yeah. Nick and Lori from Massachusetts. A fly. Okay. I'm sick of air, airplanes and airports. I'd want to fly. Uh, invisibility. <laughs> really? Yeah. That sounds Because well, you're nosy. <laughs> really? Yeah, you're just up to no good. Right back. I mean, you could, like, fly. Well, that's it for us today. Tomorrow in the third hour of today, singer, songwriter Philip Phillips joins us live to perform. Coming up on Hoda and Jenna, the newest beauty trend, skin streaming. Ooh, I don't like the what sound does that of that. Mean? I don't know. We'll, we'll see you.